Κυρίε και κύριοι, καλησπέρα σα και καλώ ορίσατε στα Echo News by Day. Στη σημερινή εκπομπή θα σα αποκαλύψουμε τα νέα προγράμματα που ετοιμάζει ο Ευρωπαϊκό Οργανισμό Διαστήματο με στόχο τη συνεχή παρακολούθηση των κλιματικών συνθήκων και κατ' επέκταση την αντιμετώπιση των φαινομένων τη κλιματική κρίση. Στο δεύτερο μέρο τη αποκλειστική συνέντευξή μα με τον επικεφαλή κλιματική δράση και βιωσιμότητα τη ΣΥΖΑ, θα μάθετε ποιο είναι το μέλλον των δορυφορικών συστημάτων. Can you give us a small taste of the future generation satellite programs? What comes next? In terms of the, the Copernicus uh, missions, we have six of them uh, today, uh, not all of them yet in orbit. We are going to basically double that. So we are going to launch six more uh, types of missions in the coming five to six years. First of all, uh, one mission which is linked to the anthropogenic uh, influence uh, on, the, on the atmosphere by looking at uh, CO2, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Then we have a new mission which is called Uh, land surface temperature uh, measurement. So we are really measuring directly the temperature of the land surface, and especially in a country like Greece, uh, you see high numbers there, and, 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 and we'd like to be able to follow that. And what is changing, uh, both in terms of hazards, but not only, also in terms of agriculture, water resource management, uh, how to deal with drought, how to deal with urban heat, how to deal also with forest fires. A uh, third mission that we will be launching is called CHIME, that is linked to so-called hyperspectral observations. We are going to launch a new type of radar satellite. It is uh, operating in, in what we call the L-band. Uh, so that's a couple of gigahertz uh, frequency. And it's really going to be fundamental for uh, geophysical hazards, but also for polar ice, uh, forest management, food security, and also for the surveillance of the maritime environment. Then there are two more missions in this, uh, in this uh, expansion of the, of the fleet of Copernicus satellites. One of them is really looking into the sea ice thickness. Uh, why is that important? It's because uh, if the sea ice is retreating, that really changes the reflection properties of the surface of the planet and therefore also the way the planet is absorbing heat that comes from the sun. And finally, we have one mission which we call SIMMER, which is the Copernicus Imaging Microwave Radiometer. This is uh, a mission that allows us to look at concentration of sea ice, to look at the temperature of the ocean, which is, by the way, the place where most of the heat Uh, is stored in the oceans and therefore also is a fundamental climate uh, measurement, but also uh, to look at things like uh, polar and maritime sec uh, security, uh, the global ocean and cryosphere in general, and also soil moisture and vegetation. Κυρίες και κύριοι, σας περιμένουμε στο επόμενο επεισόδιο Eco News by Day. Καλό σας βράδυ.